What's up everyone? My name is Michu. Welcome back to fourth actually fourth now avatar showcase um, Sorry if I sound a lot of it. Just got back from the gym. I'm uh, riding currently a whole scoop of Pre-workout, but starting to fade away. I'm about to pop open a Red Bull Most likely I got a lot to do today, man. I got a lot to do today But first I gotta show you guys uh, all the toggles on this guy berserk uh, is his name and uh, I'll give you guys a little background on uh, why his name is Berserk after I go over all the toggles. And then at the end, I have a little something that, uh, I don't know, I just want to say. And you can totally skip because there's nothing to do with the Avatar or Berserk or Avatar creation in general. But I'm just going to throw it in there at the end of the video. So yeah, but uh, let's get into uh, Mr. Berserk here. Alright, so this is the default outfit that comes uh, with the Avatar once you load him in. Do a little spin so you guys can see you know, everything on him. He's really cool. I really like how he came out. Uh, everything on here is, I think like our like ninety five percent of uh, everything on here is custom textured uh, by me. So it's all very unique uh, looks that you won't find anywhere else. Um, the whole idea of this avatar uh, actually got was from some inspiration that I saw on Pinterest, which was basically this girl. She had these high waisted uh, baggy pants on, and she had these these cool high tops with like the straps around them. So I was like, I want to recreate that, but in my own way. So that's what I did. And uh, this is kind of the look that uh, emerged from that. Um, as I was kind of going with the character, I was like, you know, I want to make him into a, kind of like a vigilante slash like, uh, I don't even know, but I, I, you know, he looks cool and that's all that matters. So everything you can take off to start with the Oh fuck! I just reset myself. Start with the <laughs> start with the main goggles, so you can take the jacket off, and this is just the default shirt. Can I turn? Hello, hand. Oh my god, my tracking. Uh, this is the default shirt, undershirt. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. So you can take off the jacket, and as you see, there's a shape key with like the the chest chain, so it fits there. Uh, you can take the shirt off, so you're just bare man. Um, this body, by the way, is ro- Can my hand stop on- Oh, it's because I'm where I'm standing. Let me move. Okay. This body is, um, Rota- Rota base, except I just sculpted it pretty heavily, um, to make the arms a lot thicker to match the, uh, the torso area and just kind of give them, give them a bigger build. Um, let me look at the camera. There it is. Uh, give them a bigger build. So you can take that off too. Uh, there's also an NSFW option that, you know, pulls out the penis and- all of that good stuff takes off the pants. Uh, I'm not going to show that, but I'm sure you know you get the basic gist. Um, and there's also a for the shirt. There's a little uh, radio wheel to change the colors. Oh wait, that's for the shoes. Oh, my bad. Um, okay, so this is the shoes. <laughs> so you can have these high tops. Let me get a little closer to the camera. So you can have these high tops, uh, which are, these are the crab man shoes. I just edited them a bit to make them you know a little higher uh, on the on the the legs, I guess you could say, and I put these straps around them, which come from an asset that I will also credit. Uh, these straps I've used a couple times on, uh, I think like two or three different avatars. They're really, 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 really nice, and they work for a lot of different things. So, of course, I will credit the person who made them. Um, so you have these shoes, and then you also have uh, these shoes because I know these are you know a little niche. It was uh, this is kind of like something I just really wanted to create, and I like the way they came out, but I know they're not for everyone. So we also have these Jordans. Um, they look a little more normal if uh, you don't like those and then you can take your feet take your feet off you can take your shoes off and just have bare feet <laughs> all right so next up we have like the extras menu uh, and by the way thanks to my friend Tinny I decided to go on my way to make the whole menu look very clean there's a bunch of custom images with like cool text to so you can kind of you can get around the menu very easily and just kind of looks very professional so shout out to Tinny dude that was they inspired me to do that. So uh, first you can take the mask off. Um, let me go down here. So this mask, that is, you can see it goes around his face and then it falls down behind his back like this. Uh, this was made from scratch. Uh, it was something that I had a vision of and I was like, I there's nothing on the market currently. So I had to make it myself um, and it came out really well. Fun, fun fact or I don't know, but the, the, the texture, right? See how it has this kind of like white strip that goes along one side of the mask um sorry dog barking that's um was a mistake originally i put the wrong texture on and it looked really weird but then it came out like this and i was like wait that looks really cool so i recreated it i recreated that look the right way 
And that's how I got the idea for this, like, sketched, um, yeah, look on the mask. So, yeah. Sometimes mistakes end up giving you ideas, I guess, is a lesson to take from that. Boom, and you have his face. This is a unique face sculpt, one that has not been on any of my other avatars. So far, most people say they really like it. Uh, I think it's definitely a lot more masculine than my other ones. I think my other ones have been a little more like pretty boy slash more on the feminine side. Nothing wrong with that. Just I went for a more masculine look because I felt like it fit the character better. Um, I see you from all angles. Um, and then you can also take, there's an option to take the drip off. Now the drip is, oh my God. The, the watch, by the way, this watch is a really cool asset. It'll be credited on the government page, of course. Uh, but it tells you, I think, your instance time and also your FPS if you just look at the watch in-game, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, if you take the drip off, it takes the chain on your neck off, it takes the watch off, and I think it takes... Oh, the rings. It also takes off the rings that are on this hand. Focus, focus. There you go. Uh, so yeah, the drip will take all that stuff off. Um chain and hatchet also comes off so that's just the by the way i put dissolve toggles on like all this stuff so it kind of looks a little cooler when it comes on and off as you can see uh, but it takes a chain off your chest and also the hatchets that are i'll get to the hatches in a second here but the one that's hanging on your side dangles there and the one that's on your back um, those will both toggle off you do that and then you can take the glasses off and since the glasses are off, we'll give you guys another look at the face. Yeah, I really like this face. I really like the way it came out, personally. I think it's fucking hot, bro. I think it's fucking hot. All right, on to the next thing. So, why do I have my keyboard out? And so now we're gonna get into the Berserk mode. The Berserk mode is uh, kind of the uh, the story behind this guy. So and the reason he's named Berserk, uh, just to give it, you know, it, he kind of has like that duo duo personality thing where there's he's kind of like two people uh in one and uh, he can't really control which one shows at either time so this berserk mode is kind of the crazy side of him you could say um that's kind of what i was going for in uh in this character so there's a toggle that says go berserk and that will activate um everything uh all the effects and everything so the first effect is the eyes it will change the eye color to have this kind of like fire going in them and I'll uh, make them orange and then I'll also have these flames that come out of the eye. Uh, the next thing is uh, if you can see floating out of the my, the sides here there's a kanji that passively float out of the side and it's the death kanji um, just because you know he's psycho you know he's he's crazy hatchet man he's gonna kill everyone so he has a death uh, kanji flying out of him that was a cool little thing and if I take off the let me take off my jacket and there is a, a cool effect that goes around the cracks in his uh, tattoo here. Uh, you see that kind of red flashing effect and also goes into his hands uh, when you turn on the berserk mode. Your hatchets, um, these light on fire. Oh, hello. These light on fire and you just, the way you equip these is just by the fist gesture, just clenching your fist um, and it will throw. One you hold kind of backwards like this and the other one you hold forwards like this, which looks kind of cool. I, base station, can you track my hand, please? Is that possible? <laughs> okay, but yeah, these are really cool. You know, crazy hatchet man flames. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the little little cool showcase I did, it kind of shows off the hatchets better than I can, that's for sure. So definitely go check out that showcase. The link will be in the description. Now with the berserk mode, you can, in the same menu, so there's an option to turn the berserk mode on so that you look like this. Um, there's an option to turn the fire off for the hatchets, so you just have the normal hatchets. There's an option to turn the eye fire off. So I'll turn off and it'll just be the, uh, by the eye fire, it's the, the, the actual particle effect that comes out of the eyes. So you see that it comes back on and then it turns off. Um, and then you can turn the kanji that flowed out of his side as well. So if you were to turn all the effects off, you would just look like this in berserk mode. And then you can go back to normal as well. So just to show you the difference. Really cool. I really like how that came out. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. 
Uh, customize is just a little section, so you can customize some things about him. Um, normally, I add a lot of different customizable options to change either the colors of things or stuff like that, but on this avatar, I think uh, I didn't want to add anything crazy because I liked how he looked and I didn't want to change too much. I really liked the colors and how everything brought together. And if I were to put a different bunch of clothing and color toggles and stuff, um, it would have changed too much about him. I liked the look that I had for him and I didn't really want to change it, but uh, there was a couple things that I thought still looked good. So for instance, his hair, you can turn the white part off and just make everything black. And I actually think this looks really fucking cool. Um, the all black hair. Um, and you can also, there is a radial toggle for a hue shift. So when you're not in Berserk mode and it's just your normal, uh, it's a hue shift for the eyes. Uh, this is also in the showcase, like the yellow eyes and the black hair. That looks really dope. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Okay. <clears throat> and then there is the, there is a toggle, or sorry, a radial wheel for, let me turn the shirt back on, for the undershirt. <clears throat> So you can change the color. There's four options. There's the base brown, there's white, there's black, and there's red. I actually think the red looks really good. Um, but yeah. Now there's a couple other options. Uh, there's two other things uh, in the main menu section. One of them is hatchet off. It's called hatchets off. And what that will do, it won't turn off these hatchets. Um, that's the other toggle, the hatchets and chain one. Uh, that's in extras. What hatches off will do that's on the main menu is turn off the ones that come into your hand. So if you were to have your gestures on, you can see the hatches come into my hands. Uh, by the way, this is what they look like without the fire. Really cool. Um, so you can do all the gestures and everything. Uh, but if you don't want the hatches coming in your hands, you just turn, you turn that toggle on and when you clench your fists, they won't come in, but you can still do all the, the gestures. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> There's also a disable locomotion. This avatar uses Wetcat's locomotion layer uh, so that you have custom uh, sitting and laying animations when you're in half potty and when you're in desktop. Uh, so it's not just the default like weird cat ones that VRChat gives you. Uh, now, if you're in full body, uh, this will give you that kind of walking animation unless you use IK tweaks, which you, I think you sh if you're playing VR chat, you should use IK tweaks. Um, <clears throat> if you use IK tweaks, you can force to disable the, that running animation when you're in full body for no matter what on every avatar. But, um, if you're not, uh, and you're playing, uh, you can just click disable locomotion and what that will do is it will stop that, that running animation so that you just, when you move, you just kind of float around like this or I'm like in the ground right now. Uh, but you just float around like this camera. Where are you? Hello. Hi. Um, instead of like doing that awkward running animation every time you move. <clears throat> uh, all right. Now the last thing that's on this avatar that I want to show you guys, um, was made by slightly. Uh, this is a really, really cool asset. Um, and he made his version of it very recently. And I was like, you know what? I got to cop it, bro. Um, so what it is, is a cloning tool. This cloning tool has a lot of really cool features. You've probably seen it on Avatar before. Uh, but what it will do is it will allow you to either mimic, which places a clone and it will do everything, you know, that you do really cool for dancing and just, you know, um, I don't know if you just want to mess around with your friends. Uh, and there's also a mirror, which will move with you as well. And you guys can, you know, like do shit. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You get the basic gist. It's really cool. And there's like little things you can do. Like you can freeze him so you can freeze your clone. Where's my clone? So now he's frozen. You know what I mean? You can mess with him. You can punch him in the face. You can whatever you want to do to him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can unfreeze him anytime. Um, you can also hide him and then you can swap. So if you hide him, you can swap and like go back and forth and people won't know which one's actually you. You know what I mean? And you can also go invis and be completely invisible. So that's cool. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Um, there's also, I definitely recommend you guys check out just slightly's, um, 
kind of guide on how to use it fully because uh, there's a lot to it. But there's a really cool feature called like if you've ever watched Naruto, it's called Jutsu Controls, and you can basically use your hand gestures in certain combinations in order to activate, say, your clone. So you could do like I forgot what it was, but it was like you know what I mean, like say like rock and roll, and then thumbs up, and it will activate your um, your clone or say like shadow clone, like you know what I mean, some Jutsu from Naruto. It's really cool. So uh, I definitely recommend you check out Just Slightly's. Uh, whole page on this. He goes over it all and all the different uh, hand combinations and everything you can do with it in more detail. But yeah, that is on this avatar as well. But yeah, that is Berserk. Um, I really like how he turned out. I'll give you guys kind of a close up now on all like the textures and stuff if you're interested. Ugh. All right, so this is the pants. You have some kanji there. Uh, you have this leg wrap. The bottom by the shoes is brown, the kind of cut off there, that's brown. Um, on the belt, there's like a, it focuses. There's like a, there's like a Tokyo, or there's, there's like a demon in here. It says like Tokyo under it, it's really cool. Um, let me show you guys the hatchet. Uh, the hatchet here. You can see there's like uh there's like bloody hands here there and then on the other side here and then it's kind of like almost like an infected kind of just vein look that uh glows in and out and then the bottom has a it's kind of a scratched up metal look uh, i think it looks really cool you guys a little close up on the the mask here and the glasses also believe it or not have a custom texture if this thing wants to focus um I have like a little, a small little watermark. Meet your avatars on the side there. You can, you know, nothing noticeable. It's just kind of a, thought it looked cool, to be honest. It's the only reason I did it. Um, and yeah, that's the avatar. This is Berserk. Really like how he came out. Uh, the, the showcase came out super well. Definitely recommend you guys go check out the showcase. Shout out to my friend Visibly. Uh, he put up with me through that, uh, um, for all the, all the posing and stuff. So shout out to him. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, there is a little something I just wanted to talk about at the end of this video that I'm kind of passionate about. And I think maybe it could help a couple people it has nothing to do with this avatar. It has nothing to do with really avatars in general, but I think if you play VR chat, there's a lot of people that could relate or maybe somehow find some help with it. Um, so yeah, but that was it for the showcase. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and uh, Berserk is available now. You can purchase him via my DMs or uh, a little later on, I'll even put him on Gumroad. Um, and my Discord will be down below as long as my Discord server if you want to join my Discord server. Um, so yeah. All right, what's up guys? So I wanted to, there, there's really no way to transition into this from what I just did, but it's kind of random. But uh, you know, it was on my mind. I'm a big thinker. Um, everyone who knows me knows that I'm, I'm, I, I very much keep to myself. Uh, I like, my, I like my, my alone time. Um, I'm a big introvert. Um, I, I don't socialize too much. Um, you know, it's ironic. I play a social game, but, um, I use VR chat as basically my one way to socialize. Uh, cause I don't like going out, dude. Um, you know, I, it's not that I don't like people. Um, I just like being, uh, by myself a lot. You know, I like just being in my own company and, and doing, doing my own thing. Um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about was um, kind of, I think VR chat is taken uh, as a way for people to de-stress and uh, a coping mechanism to help with a lot of things that they have to deal with in real life. And I think that's amazing. And I think VR chat is a great escape um, from real life issues. And it really helps people uh, who, who, you know, want to just run away uh, from things that are very difficult um, and it gives them that escape so uh, but I think that you need to understand uh, as a person that everything comes back to bite you even harder if you continue to ignore it um, and that goes for VR chat as well you know I use VR chat uh, during a very dark time in my life initially before I got into avatar creation or anything. And it really helped me. Um, it really, really helped me. Um, 
In fact, I would say the reason I am on such a good path right now is because of the game uh, helped me kind of at least get uh, enough on my feet so that I could start walking for my own self. So I think this game is, is really great in that regard, but I think you need people need to, to be careful and not uh, you know drown themselves in a world that isn't real and understand that it's okay to use these things to cope, but you need to deal with those problems, even if it's in small little steps. Uh, you need to uh, pick yourself up and you need to actually take those problems head on um, in whatever way you can and whatever those problems are. Um, and even if you don't fix them, you know, uh, even if you, they don't get better and you're not happy, at least maybe you can make that hell of a problem into just, you know, a tragedy and not just a complete hell that you have to live in every day. You know, just make it a little bit worse. Um, so... The whole point of reason I'm saying this is because I want you, I feel like there's a lot of people who play VR chat who are aimless and I'm not saying this in like a, a, a way that I'm trying to insult anyone, but in a way that like I genuinely just want to help people. So if whatever I'm saying right now can help a couple of people because this is what I went through personally, um, then, then that's awesome. So I think uh, if you are aimless and you feel like you're kind of just life is flying by you and you're kind of sitting back in a spectator seat and you're trying to reach out and like stop it, you know, metaphorically, but you can't find something you love man. like find something you genuinely can get up every day and do and get a little better at each day. And if you can find like two to three things, I mean, if you can just find one thing you love, you're already, that's already a miracle. That's already something that a luxury that a lot of people can't do. Um, and something that, you know, I'm very lucky to find myself with avatar creation and, you know, going to the gym six times a week for almost a year now. Um, and then on top of that gaming, like I have a lot of thing, anime, you know, I have a lot of things that I love and like found that I can progress towards and, and grow as a person, be a better person every day. Um, so try to find things that you love, try to find things that you can be passionate for and something that um, you can get better at just a little bit every single day because that's really the goal is just to get uh, be a little bit of a better person than you were yesterday um, and the reason I'm saying that is because that ties back to the whole thing of being aimless kind of feeling like you're not in the driver's seat and you know you want to take charge of your life but you don't know how and maybe you even fall into some kind of deep depression which a lot of people do a lot of people in this game fall into some kind of depression even I did at one point you know um, but it's all it's our responsibility to bring ourselves out of that because no one else can no one else can only we can right um, and obviously there's, there's cases where people's brains literally do not produce the correct chemicals in order to be happy. And that's different, you know, go see a doctor, get professional help. Um, and by the way, I should say I'm not a professional. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. And this is just kind of my experience. Like I said, I think a lot, I have a lot of time to think. Um, so that's kind of what I'm expressing here. Um, but yeah, so if, you know, obviously that's you and you have, you know, genuine, your, your brain isn't functioning correctly in that regard, definitely go see a doctor, get medication, please. Um, but for most people, in fact, probably like 95% of people, maybe more, uh, that's not the case. And, uh, it's more just something, it's something that you can fix. Even if it feels like you don't even have the motivation to get out of bed in the morning, that's fine. Start there. You know what I mean? If you got out of bed in the morning, that's an accomplishment. And then brush your teeth. You know what I mean? You accomplish something else. Make your bed. You accomplish something else. Clean your room. Jordan Peterson said, which is someone who I listen to a lot, he said, you know, uh, something along the lines of like, clean your room. If you clean your room, you can like change the world. It was something like that. You know what I mean? And what he means by that is like just doing something small, like being able to organize your room is one small discipline that will lead to a bunch of other disciplines that will improve yourself and eventually improve the world. Um, so it might seem silly to, you know, make your bed and it'll change the world or clean your room and it could change the world, but it really can like start with small things. If you're at rock bottom right now and you feel like you can't even get out of bed, you can't even motivate yourself to go to the gym once a week, or you can't motivate yourself to start on a passion project of yours or get that art piece done or make that song, whatever it is, you know, start with small things, small disciplines every day, you know, and you'll start finding yourself making progress, real progress. And it will make you a happy person. And that's what makes you feel alive. If you're looking for that feeling of finally jumping into the driver's seat and making it 
you actually feel like you're present in life and not everything just zooming past you, find something that you can progress towards every day just slightly and a year will go by and you can look back from a year ago and be like, wow, I came so far. And every single day, obviously you're human, you'll have your highs and lows and life in general is just a whole, uh, it's just a bunch of misery and fucking um you know despair and suffering that we all have to go through genuinely life is suffering but what we do is we we try to decrease that suffering as much as we can every day um most religious i'm not religious myself but like most religious uh religions and stuff express that how life is suffering and all we can do is make it a little less worse um so and that's how you do it you find something you love and you work at it every single day and you make yourself a little bit of a better person every single day. Uh, you don't stress over it. Um, and if you don't know what you love and you're like, well, I don't even know what I love to do. Experiment, man. Like there's so many arts, there's so many different, you know, freelance things you can do. There's so many, uh, physical activities you can do just for fun. Like there's, there's a lot of stuff you can get into, uh, that you could genuinely fall in love with. Like, I think everyone can find their passion. Everyone can find something they, they love to do that they don't need to be asked to do or paid to do. So yeah, I guess I feel like I rambled on a little bit, but the general message is if you feel like you're lost and you're looking for a direction in life, find something you love to do and work at it every single day. And even if it's just a little bit of progress, that will make you feel alive. That will give you a reason to get up in the morning and it will start setting your life on the right track. So I genuinely just want to see people be more happy. And I want to see the the people in this community, you know, uh, find a way um, just to have better lives. Because, you know, a lot of people, like I said, use this game to cope with a lot of issues in their life. And I think there are a lot of hurting people. And um, maybe I can help, just, even if I can just help one of them with this message and, uh, you know, that would, that would make me happy. So, uh, like I said, this has nothing to do with the avatar or anything, but I just kind of wanted to throw it in there at the end of the showcase. Cause why not? Why not, man? If I didn't say it here, then it would just be trapped in my head. But yeah, I think a lot, if you guys want to DM me about any of this stuff, feel free. I love talking about it. Or if you see me in VR chat sometime and you just want to talk about this stuff or even take me to a private world. So you, you know, talk about, you know, whatever's happening in your life, I'd be happy to listen. Um, so yeah, this has been Michu. Thank you guys for watching a showcase and you guys for listening. If you did listen this far and uh, I hope, uh, I didn't ramble on too much and you guys got kind of got the general gist of what I was saying. Um, I'll probably look back at this and be like, I, I did not explain that well at all, but yeah, just kind of wanted to talk in front of a camera for a bit. And, uh, so that's what I did. I'll probably edit some relaxing or sad emotional music or some shit in the background. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next showcase. Bye-bye.